It's going to be so hard when I actually leave on a trip. We're going to break ourselves into it a little bit, I think. But uh, we do need to get the wheels turning eventually. But these are the first few weeks of Theo's life, and I'm not going to miss it. Morning, everybody. Today is Theo's first swing. His first try in the swing. Yeah. Or our first try with him in the swing. We'll see what happens. Theo, you're a big guy, you need a lot of room. Chevy's at daycare today. If you're wondering, he's not going to be here till later. He's having friends, apparently. He's made a few girlfriends today. I was the paranoid mom who called. Had to ask. How is he doing? It's been five hours. It's the longest day he's ever had. She's like, oh, he's having a blast. He's got girlfriends following him around. It's a big, big play group today. All right, Theo. Handsome. Big man. You big boy. Oh. Buckle you in there. You ready for the ride of your life? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna launch him out of it. Well, no. We'll I wait just, till he's older. I don't want him sliding out of it either. Okay. Oh, you gonna turn it on? Okay. Oh. Whoa. That's level one, man. Oh. How high you wanna go? How you doing, honey? How you doing? Yeah. Little more? Little more action? There you go. Good job, buddy. Oh, oh no. No, don't want it. Don't need it. That's You're a big okay. boy? Yeah, he's a big boy. Alright, check that out. There you go, buddy. Go faster. Faster. You left dad by the controls. Uh-oh. Faster. That's that's, about your, a, that's your hand. A third of the way up. So you can go. Well, we'll wait. We'll break you into it. I remember when we were kids on the swings at the playground. I don't know if they still do this or not, but we'd try to see how high we could get and if we could go all the way around. We we never did, but we did get hurt. So right. don't do that. You did so good. So good, oh, so, man. So good. So so good. So. It's, Pretty obvious we're first time parents, I think, for the people just tuning in. <laughs> every, by a swing. Yeah, every day, every day is something new and we're learning something. We're learning a lot though. Today we had the visit from the Manitoba health nurse that comes about six days after baby's born. I'm not sure how things are where you're from, but here in Canada, every baby that's born gets a home visit from a nurse within about a week after birth. So we had the, the nurse come in and visit today. Perfect, absolute perfect, clean bill of health. There's absolutely nothing to be concerned about with him. And that was really good to hear. Not only is he perfect in his looks, he's perfect physically and health-wise as well. There he is. I worked real hard on this. Your mommy baked you real good. I did. She grew you in her tummy. Did you know that? Oh, did I? We have videos of it. No way. You're sleeping like a vampire again. <laughs> What's up with that? Giving you'll, yourself a hug? You'll be able to go back one day and watch all of these videos. Yeah. That's the most special part. Exactly. Yeah, should mom heat you up some milk again? A lot of videos of dad on the road, but there's going to be lots of YouTube. Darn right. So we got some good news. Old Blue is ready to be picked up. Very, very soon now you'll get to meet him. Not today. Not that you're going to remember the first time you meet him anyway. This is some of the best lasagna I've tasted in a while. Chicken lasagna. Mm -hmm. First mom brought it over here for us. Mm. 
among all the other food that all the parents have brought us. <laughs> and it's all been very good. It's been a lot. <laughs> it's yes. been good though. Not complaining it, though. No, I, I don't, I can't be standing in the kitchen for very long. I'm doing pretty good with my recovery, but it's still, I get tender. <laughs> Time to take him home. Got dad to give me a ride. Hey, my pickup, he's gonna drive the pickup back to the shop. Just needs a bath yet. It's time to go home. Back at home. You're gonna take one more trip out this weekend, I think, old blue. We're gonna go to the truck wash. This is not even gonna leave it like this. We can't leave it like this. So I've got uh, two new airbags. You won't be able to see it now probably, but under my sleeper there, two new shocks on either side. Uh, full service. Here's the truck wash you had, like I said. Looking good though, Blue. I'm glad to have you home. I missed you. Did you miss me? You missed me. <laughs> missed me. You don't have to work just yet, old Blue. You're still on vacation, all right? I'm gonna go home and spend some time with my baby boy. It's gonna be so hard when I actually leave on a trip. We're gonna break ourselves into it a little bit, I think. We'll see, once we uh, once we get Old Blue back and running, I'll take a couple of, I'll see if they have something short for me, far going back or something, or maybe a Brainerd run around. We'll see what they got. But uh, we do need to get the wheels turning eventually, but, these are the first few weeks of Theo's life, and I'm not going to miss it. See, you're all nice and greased up. Good. You're all set and ready. After your truck wash, you'll be sitting pretty. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Looking good. It was nice even just to drive it from the shop back to my shop. Ah, get a little bit of that diesel fix, you know. Smell those fumes. Mmm, -hmm. so good. I hope my boy's into trucking, but it doesn't really matter. You know, whatever he's into, I'll be into also. I just want him to be happy, but I'm going to put my little bit of influence in there and uh, see what I can do to get him into trucks. I don't know, maybe he'll want to do something better. Maybe he'll want to be a doctor. Maybe he'll want to be the prime minister one day. Fix things up, you know. Maybe he wants to be a lawyer and, you know, prosecute bad people. Maybe he wants to be a truck driver. We'll see. That'd be pretty cool. My dad's a truck driver. I'm a truck driver. Wouldn't that be cool if he'd be a truck driver too? It's up to him. It's up to him, but he's definitely going to come with on a few trips. Once he's older and once he's old enough to be in the truck, definitely going to take him on, take him on some trips. I want him to experience the road just like I did with my dad when I was a kid. Then he can make up his mind. I don't know, I got, a, I got a whiff of those diesel fumes and I was hooked. Eight years old and I knew this is what I wanted to do. There was nothing else. My backup careers were uh, either a pilot or a police officer. But they still didn't come close to wanting to be a truck driver. We'll see you later, Blue. You take care of yourself, alright? I'll be back soon. You kicked off your blankets, little guy. Here you go. A little warm in here for you. I think someone's going to be hungry very soon. Chevy, it's your turn to feed him. Want to go outside first, Chevy? Yeah? And then you can feed Theo? Yeah, okay, that's how it works. Anyone else want to go outside? Frank, Wiener? Come on. With you? Whoa! Bless you. you. Better hurry. Better hurry. Theo's getting hungry, Chevy. Gotta hurry. I've got to go out and get new water today and uh, run a few errands. Go get some groceries. First, we gotta take care of these guys. Alright, well, got everybody here. Got everybody. Where's the wiener? There he is. There he is. Okay. Got a few icicles forming here, but it's nothing compared to the other side. 
Come take a look at this. This is the other side of our house. It's quite tricky to get here. That is all ice. And look at these things. Look at that. <laughs> it's that season. It means that summer's coming. You can see Diesel way out there. You can see him. Oh, there he goes. We definitely need to get new gutters for the side of our house. Because I cleaned those gutters out. They're clear, but they still leak. They're very old. So, oh, sometime or other, we'll have to uh, just replace those. It's just easy. Just two sides. Small house. Shouldn't be too much work or be too expensive, but it still needs to be done. You done now, Frank? We going in? Why are you following me? <laughs> Let's go inside. Come on. I pulled up to the car washer and I went inside because there wasn't a lineup. I came outside and this was the situation. These cars all in front of me are in line. It goes all the way around and then it comes back there and we're gonna go into this building here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this guy's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six people in front of me now. There was seven. I don't know why that person gave up. Maybe they don't want to wait, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> Here, I'll put this on. So somehow while I was in there, I was just in there for like two seconds. Went in there, hey, can I get a car wash? Okay, thank you very much. Got my receipt, walked out and this. One, two, three, six people snuck in front of me. They must have all like been in line right in front of me just as I was walking in. They must have all been walking out at the same time with a car wash. And here I am pulling up, like, yes, no lineup. Let's quickly go wash the truck. Today is a good day. I'm gonna go wash the truck. <laughs> oh well. Oh, doesn't matter. I'll wait here. Get it washed. I gotta get the train washed as well. Both our vehicles have been very dirty. We haven't had much time for anything. We're finally getting ourselves into a proper sleep schedule. I think we've, uh, <coughs> I think we sort of figured out a rhythm. So, uh, I sleep, or Brit sleeps until the morning, and I stay up through the night to, to let her sleep. So we'll go to bed together at night, and then in the middle of the night when he cries, I wake up, I take care of him, until morning time when she's ready to get up. And then when she's ready to wake up, then she takes over and takes care of him, and then I go to sleep, which is usually like around, I don't know, 7 to 8 o'clock. And then I sleep till like 10 to 12 or something in there. And that way we're both pretty rested. We're both getting about six to six to eight hours a night. And that's pretty good for after just one week of having a newborn, I think. That's what I've been told anyways. The first couple of nights were just, that was, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to join the chorus of people telling you new parents that when you bring a baby home, a newborn, get ready to never sleep again. Okay, let's be serious. You will sleep again, but you better come up with a good sleep schedule. Best thing I could advise people to do is think of this before you bring your baby home, okay? The first night, the first two or three nights, neither of you are going to get sleep. You're going to be way too excited. You got a new baby at home. All you want to do is sit there and stare at it. I, I'm still like that. That's all I want to do is just stare at him. Uh, but eventually you have to go to sleep and then you have to figure out, okay, so when he cries in the middle of the night, you don't want to both get up because then you're both losing sleep. Figure out which one of you is going to want to get up with them, take care of them through the night. If the baby's breastfeeding, well, that has to be mommy, right? But since Britt is pumping and we're uh, uh, bottle feeding, I can feed too, no problem. There's lots of milk in the fridge already. Britt is producing way more than enough right now, so it's fantastic. Well, we won't run out of food anytime soon. So I can get up in the middle of the night, change his diaper, feed him. You should change his diaper again, rock him a little bit, possibly change his diaper again. And then once he's good and sleeping, bring him back to the bassinet in the bedroom, lay him down for night or for the rest of the night, which is usually like around three o'clock when this happens, between three and five a.m. Once he's sleeping again, I go back to bed. And then so far it's been working out that she just wakes up around like eight o'clock, seven or eight o'clock, and uh, she just takes over. So I just have to wake up once during the night. And so I don't always have to sleep till like noon. Sometimes I just like catch up on those couple hours I missed in the last part of the night. Cause we'll, we'll stay up till like midnight, one o'clock in the morning, which is probably too late. Gotta get a better schedule going maybe, but you know, I'll sleep from like midnight to three or three o'clock or so. He's sleeping pretty well, like sleeping three to four hours at a time at a week old. 
I'm told that's that's pretty good because it could be worse. But so far everything's going good, and I think that we're we're figuring it out. We're finding a rhythm here so that we can both be rested. I can't function if I haven't properly slept. So we got that figured out. Now I have energy to come out and wash the truck. It was supposed to be quick, like woo, first in line. Not today. I gotta go grocery shopping after this too and get groceries. All right, just got back from unloading the groceries. That was a workout in itself. We got a gift in the mail. We've been getting lots of gifts in the mail from all you. Thank you for yes. everything <laughs> that you guys have sent. Yes. It's overwhelming at times, but we appreciate all of you. Today, uh, this came in the mail from our friends at Howes Products. Let's see what it is. From Rich at Howes Products. <laughs> We're just opening it for the first time here. And... Congrats on making a little human. Oh, a little awesome. toy. A blankie. Another little toy. Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of stuff. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Oh, awesome. We better do that before his feet get too big. Oh, yeah. They're already running out of room. They're huge. He's got big feet, little flippers. <laughs> you always talk about your flippers. He got your feet. Definitely did. You know what they say about guys with big feet? Big shoes. Big shoes. Hey, <laughs> Diesel. I don't think that's the same, but we'll go with that. <laughs> here's a card. Oh, it's just a congrats on making a little human. Yeah, here's the card. Here's the thank you. Oh, okay. Congratulations on the birth of your son, Theo. Rich and the rest of your friends at Howe Products. Thank you. That's Appreciate awesome. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you to the rest of you, too. You guys have been sending so much stuff, and we were trying to keep up with writing everything down and who it was from, and, and then we stopped sleeping. So we've lost track a little bit. I forgot what days of the week were happening. Like, so I'm sorry if we didn't mention every single one of you that yes. sent something. We have gotten all of them. Believe me, we appreciate all of them, and they're all being put to very good use. Mm -hmm. We got another couple over here yet from the U.S. Uh, this one here, this box came from the U.S. It's U.S. Post on it, anyways. Came from where does it say? Dawn in Chaska, Minnesota. Got your package. And this one came from Jimmy. Uh, turn this around. I don't want to give away their address here. Jimmy and Mandy in Marble, North Carolina. North Carolina? I always have to say it like that every time I say it. North Carolina? <laughs> I love that state. I was there lots. Beautiful state. Yeah, they're really nice there. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, guys, and uh, thank you so much. Like like Britt said, they're all being put to really good use, and uh, we've been losing track a little bit of everything, but we don't mean to. Most of you <laughs> who have sent gifts are probably parents and probably get it, so we're trying. Yeah, we're trying. We're doing our best. What do you do for a living? I do my best, Karen. That's what I do. I do my best. <laughs> and a little star. Blankies again. Were you a good boy while I was out shopping? He ate three times. Three times? Three times. You weren't gone very long. He, he just, he's a little milk monster. You're lucky mom makes a lot of milk. You have to get him a little shirt that says milk monster. Heck yes. <laughs> should get him an honorary badge at this point. Yeah. Not just a onesie. <laughs> Wear it every day, a little sash. <laughs> You're getting gifts and presents from all over the world, big guy. There's people on every continent watching you, and they all love you. But not as much as me and your mom. Or all your grandparents. Or your grandparents. Or aunties. This one here is from Dawn. I gotta sit down. You know what? I'm gonna sit down. You open the last one. I gotta open this one. Oh, look at it. A nice little box. Let's come a little closer here. Terrible lighting in here. That's okay. It's a vlog. It's not supposed to be perfect. But we could do better. We could do better. Hey, buddy, look, this is for you. I'm acting like it's for me. It's for you. You want to open it? 
Here, I'll get this. It's not as coffee. Okay. Okay. I'll get it started for you. Here, Daddy. Here. Go ahead. Yeah. Unwrap it. Unwrap it? No. No? I'll do this one. Okay, you do the it's next one. It's not a bottle or hair. Might so. be inside, though. Look, I'll, I'll open it for you. Don't scratch your face. What's in okay. What's in there? Whoa. What could it be? Is that fun? The fun part is ripping off the wrapping paper. That's the best part. Van Mar. Van Mar. Looks fancy. Look at that. Fancy. Fancy box. There's a card in here. Okay, should we get this first? Look at that. That's fun. Right? Mr. Gassy. Mr. Sleepy, Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> what does it say in here? It says, Josh and Britt, have fun with your new little man. Just a little stuffed animal. What does it say? To welcome your baby boy into the world. Congratulations, Don Shaw. Oh, Don. Yeah, it's Don. It's Don. I thought you said John earlier. Oh, Don. I haven't slept much You know today. Don. I, yeah, I know we all know Don. We all know Don. Okay. A stuffy? We love stuffies. Oh, oh, the, oh you're going to like this one. Oh, it's a bun bun. Mm. Is it a bunny? No, Chevy, it's not for you. <laughs> no, Chevy, it's not Diesel, for you. Diesel, it's not for you either, buddy. Yuck. <gasps> Is it a bun bun? You want to hug it? Oh, doesn't that feel soft? Is that nice? <laughs> That'll go in the nursery right away. Thank you. Not for you boys. No. <laughs> no. For Poor Theo. guys. There's all these toys in the house now. And every time a new one comes in, it's not for them. Because somebody by the name of Chevy eats stuffed toys. We can't have them anymore for the boys. <laughs> Am I in focus? It's so hard to tell. All right. And the next one from Jimmy and Mandy in North Carolina. Oh. <laughs> Handmade with Love by Mandy. How do all these people know how to do all this beautiful work? It's it's amazing. You guys are so talented. No kidding. So many of you. Oh, there's a card. Let's read the card. I drew a stick person once. Look at the card even matches the color. And they got the colors right too, grays and yellows. Yeah, that's awesome. It says, a new baby, said Pooh. Hooray. Shouldn't we be quiet, asked Piglet. I don't think so, Pooh replied. They won't be sleeping much anyway. <laughs> to Brittany, Josh, and Baby. Dio. They even spelled my name right. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody does that. Showers of happiness for your sweet new baby. We wish your little family nothing but health and happiness. I pray this provides your little one with warmth and comfort. My grandbabies lovingly refer to these as ninny blankets. Hope your little one enjoys theirs. From one trucker wife to another, may God bless you and keep you. Mandy Amos. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. That is amazing. You are one spoiled little boy, Theo. Oh, is he ever... This we kid. Need, we need a bigger house just for his stuff. No kidding. <laughs> I mean, we needed one to begin with, but now we really do. Look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful handmade. How do you do that? <laughs> like, I drive a truck. That's what I do. I could not, obviously could not do this. But hey, if we were all good at the same things, the world would be a boring place. It's true. That's <laughs> beautiful. I wonder how big it is. It looks pretty big. It looks pretty big. It looks pretty big. Somebody's getting ready for his first bath at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're at 39.6. There's a little rubber ducky there. It's a little red light flashing on it. Sorry, it's moving around. That's okay. 39.7, it says. Celsius, right? Yes. Yeah, that's not fair. I think, I think we've got to bring it down to 38 in order for it to be the right temperature for him. All right, it's going up still. Oh, no, 39.5. Yeah, so it just takes a couple of seconds for it to read properly. 
That little flashing red light goes green, apparently, when the water is safe for him. Mm -hmm. And at a proper temperature. It's down to 39 now. 38.8. We're getting there. We're getting there. You ready, little man? I'm gonna clean you up. You smelling good? Not that you really stink, but you don't smell as fresh. We'll see you guys after the bath. How was it, little man? I don't know how well I did, but the he's, stress made him hungry again. He's clean, so it matters. He's clean. We just gotta feed him and we just realized we don't have any sterilized bottles, so we have this bottle sterilizer in here. Quickly sterilize those, cool them off, get some milk in there, warm it up, and get it into his belly. Got the sanitization container out of here, so open it this way. Whoop, 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 whoop. Making a mess. Making a mess. Making a mess. Now those are sanitized, but they're really hot. You gotta be careful. Use the tongs, the little blue tongs and the drying rack. Drying rack. Tongs. Tongs. Ah. Tongs. <laughs> Okay, and uh, then I put them onto the drying rack. Yeah. Okay, this is my first time doing this, guys. If I mess it up, this is on YouTube for everyone to see. Okay, so we grab that, and we get maybe you can do it. And we grab that, and we maybe put this one. Let's put it up here. Let's be wild. Let's be wild and crazy. Yeah. How am I supposed to grab these bottles with the. Oh, just knock it over. Okay. Just put that there, sure. Knock it over. Grab that. Ah! Whoa, that was a close one. Uh, very hot. Very, very hot. Okay. Let it dry here. Let it cool off, and then you can feed them. I heard my name. You want a picture? How about a video? Oh, look at him staring into your eyes. Hmm. I didn't do too bad, hey? It took under eight minutes to bathe you. 